What is going on YouTube? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the first four sets of English Pokemon cards. And they are in my four 2.0 deck tutor binder. These binders are made in Italy. And actually they're not made anymore. You would be hard to find one and they'd be very pretty expensive. I'd, I'd say they're about a hundred bucks uh, if you can get your hands on one. So yeah, this is the base set. It's the staple from our childhood. Uh, most of our childhood, at least for most of the viewers that are watching this. And all these cards, uh, I typically like to have them in lightly played condition. There might be a crease here or there, but I don't want super duper damaged cards in my binders. Uh, just because I, I like the curb appeal of the binder itself. Uh, so there are 102 cards in base set. Uh, people think that all 150 Pokemon... Our original 150 Pokemon are going to be in the base set, and they are not. Uh, there's, I think, only about 75 Pokemon in the first set of Pokemon cards. There are quite a lot of trainers, and there are quite a lot of energy cards. Uh, this could be uh, the best card you get out of a pack. <laughs> so if you open up a base uh, set pack, they're running you about 500 bucks. You're probably looking at one of these cards here. Uh, so after the 102 cards, there's quite a lot of energy cards. And then after the first 102 comes the jungle set. Now with my jungle set, I am trying to get it all in first edition, slowly but surely. I do have a no symbol Kangaskhan in there. If you don't know what that means, uh, sets usually have a symbol on them and this is missing it. So it was a manufacturing error on Wizards of the Coast's, Coast's part. Uh, but yeah, I am trying to get all these in first edition. I do have all of the non-hollows in first edition that begin right here with Clefable. So once you see Clefable, Clefable all of my uh, non-hollows are gonna be first edition. It'd be really cool to get every single hollow. Uh, it's been a work in progress. I've been collecting, um, I mean, I finished these binders back in 2016. Uh, I just started doing the gym challenge ones gym hero and gym challenge uh when covid began uh and i was able to finish all of the neo sets as well and then it was about two months into covid i want to say like april of 2020 uh i started submitting all of my binder cards that i thought were uh worthy of nines and tens uh so those i took a couple of hits in the holes of my binders uh, but I'm slowly but surely finishing those back up. I'm almost finished with them, actually. There isn't even a card in that. That could go into one of my binders. Uh, but yeah, yesterday I uploaded a video of Neo Genesis. And I fig figured I'd start up with uh, ba going back to the base set. Uh, so this is the fossil set. And I also have all of the non hollow rares in first edition as well in this set. Maybe I could scoot this over here. Maybe that's a little bit better to view. Yeah, there's some great artwork. And I also do have an uncut sheet of these fossil cards as well. These uncommon, sorry, <laughs> not the uncommon. That's with the Neo Genesis. All of these hollows, uh, I have an uncut sheet of, and I am gonna go show you that right now. Yeah, so here it is, the fossil sheet that uh, you see in every intro video that I have on YouTube, and it's glorious to look at. I got this fossil sheet back in 2013. I bought my house in 2014, and moving this here was definitely nerve-wracking. Uh, yeah, so I used to think that there were 99 of these because it was made in 1999, but that is not the case. There are more than those out there. Now, how many are in decent condition like this? It's hard to say, but let me show you the cards here. They do look quite nice, don't they? Uh, there are little minor blemishes like right, let me see, right there, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, but overall, uh, if this were to get graded by PSA, which PSA doesn't grade things like this, uh, they'd have to use a totally completely different grading standard like they do with their uh, booster packs. So yeah, 
little cool little tidbit here. I'm going to go back to the binders now. Back to the binders. Uh, one more thing I wanted to note about the uncut sheet. They go for around $5,000 on average. And I got a custom uh, frame for it. And the custom frame itself was 305 bucks. So yeah, that's a little price tag for you. Um, not that I would sell it for that. Uh, if I, everyone has their selling point and mine's not uh, fair market value, mine's above fair market value because I really want to just keep holding on to that. It's one of the staples in my collection and I've had it for, you know, even before the Pokemon Go craze came out. So um, it would be weird to have that not up on the wall at the house. All right, then base set two came out after Fossil. And Base Set 2 wasn't really loved when it first came out because it was just a, a reprint, you know? But the Hollows are uh, Cosmos. So if you don't know what Cosmos is, there's a hollow foil pattern where they're more like circles and the Base Set is more like stars. Let's see if I can show that to you real quick. Let's see. Yeah, so see the stars right here on Hitmonchan? That's a good example. Back to base set two. And base set two, it's actually harder to pull a Charizard because there are more holographic cards in this set. Uh, there are a total of 20 holographic cards in this set. So if you were to open up packs, uh, you'll have a, if it's a heavy pack, you'll have a one in 20 chance. Whereas uh, in base set, there are 16 hollows. Uh, so yeah, there's some really nice hollows in this set. Uh, and then this set just basically combined jungle and fossil cards together. So you'll notice that uh, there will also be base set. So they just called it base set two, which was an interesting name back then. And it's an interesting name now. Um, after I forgot to mention that fossil set was the set that you were able to complete all 151 Pokemon. No, 150 Pokemon on the English side. Uh, on the Japanese side, they had Mew and fossil set. So you were able to complete 151. But yeah, Fossil Set completed all 150 original Pokemon. Once again, with Base Set 2, there are 130 cards, but there are tons of trainers. Uh, and some of them uh, are rares. So the rarity symbol is here, if you didn't know. Uh, there are circles, diamonds, and stars. Circle is common, diamond is uncommon, and star is rare. I'm sure most of you know that if you're watching my videos by now. Uh, so then we get to Team Rocket, and Team Rocket is a lot of people's favorite uh, set. It is not my favorite set, but it is one of my favorite sets. It's definitely eye-catching. Uh, with the introduction of Dark Pokemon, uh, there's, n there's a lot to be said about this set. Dark Doug Trio is actually a really great artwork in this set just breaking into somebody's house here uh the pre-release gyarados there's actually a couple versions of the pre-release there's a gold one and then a brown one i don't know which one's more rare uh, i'm also trying to get all of these in first edition as well um, it's definitely a slow process to do that it's whenever i buy someone's collection and they have a first edition hollow that i don't have and it's not in graded condition. So yeah, uh, I'm really trying to get all of the non-hollows as well in first edition, and I am just missing the Dark Blastoise. Uh, so after the Dark Blastoise, I have every single non-hollow in first edition. Uh, people really like this Dark War Turtle. I agree with them. This Dark Vaporeon, the Eevee's pretty cool. Dark Charmander, great artwork. Even that Dark Primate's got some really cool artwork to it, doesn't it? This on the Japanese side had Grimer's eyes somewhat angled to this girl's skirt, so they altered it on the English side. Although, if you look at that card, he's really staring at her face. Uh, if you really draw a line from his eyes, to her it's not looking up her skirt i didn't think it needed to be changed i mean even changing it is probably what brought more light to it uh, 
So this this Team Rocket set was also the first set to introduce uh, secret rares. You can see 83 out of 82. Uh, that's that's a strange fraction. So yeah, even this trainer has a really cool artwork to it. I like trainers that incorporate a bunch of Pokemon to them. Himeno, that's who that is. Himeno has a lot of great artwork. I've noticed I like a lot of his artworks. All right, so that's the first four English sets. Let me know what you thought, uh, and I will continue to post some of my binders. Later.